Physics is fun when you know the trick behind the motion. That's right, Joker. Two differentiations, and you've unlocked the full story of motion. Ha 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 ha. Superman, you talk about motion, but do you even know how to decode it? Watch closely. Super Ripnew. It's easy. Motion starts with displacement, written as T. It tells us how position changes with time. Hmm. And what if I want to know how fast that position is changing? Then differentiate it once with respect to time. That gives velocity. So, if displacement is t squared, velocity become 2t. And differentiate again gives acceleration 2. That's acceleration, speed changing with time. Exactly, Joker. Differentiating t cubed once gives velocity 3t squared. And differentiating again gives acceleration 6t. Again, if displacement is sine d, velocity will be cos t, and acceleration will be minus sine t. Ha! So every time we differentiate, we move forward in motion. First gives velocity, second gives acceleration. That's right, Joker. Two differentiations, and you've unlocked the full story of motion. <laughs> Physics is fun when you know the trick behind the motion.